Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish. And as usual, I'm coming from my backyard. Well, today is gonna be a busy day and I thought I'd pop in and um, do film my intro early because um, my main squeeze and I are gonna be working hard um, more on our backyard. Uh, it's a never ending chore, isn't it? Uh, for anybody who has a yard to be working in. Uh, but I wanted to do film early because pretty soon I'm sure my hair is going to be up in a ponytail or bun or something off of my neck because it is warm. Uh, but anywho, so uh, I hope you guys have had a great week uh, so far. I'm hoping you're getting to enjoy your weekend. Um, as a special treat for all of our hard work and for just you know, a fun week in general, um, I'm gonna actually be doing a special dessert treat um, for us this evening. I'm gonna be doing um, a peach crumble in, um, in the Dutch oven. So I'm excited to do it. It's been a long time since I had anything peach, um, but uh, I think it's gonna be delicious and I think I'm gonna throw a little bit of, well, a special treat maybe on top, we'll see. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, here it is. Here are the supplies and the ingredients we're gonna be using today. Um, I've got a yellow cake mix, ground cinnamon, I've got a half a uh, stick of butter sliced, and I've got um, peaches. Now let me tell you, the recipe called for canned peaches. <laughs> And by golly, there was not a single can in our stores uh, close to home. <laughs> so I had to buy the little snack cups. And there they are. All right, so let me tell you, this recipe could not be any simpler. And you can see it's been, um, we've got some much needed rain today. So everything's a little bit wet, but this is going to be good. Um, so you're just going to dump those peaches right into your Dutch oven and you see I did my favorite thing and lined it with um, Reynolds wrap easy cleanup then you're gonna take that cake mix you're just gonna sprinkle it right on top I mean gosh this could not be any easier could it I guess if it did it itself or somebody else did it for you <laughs> then then that would be it Boom. And then you're gonna take that cinnamon and just sprinkle some right on top. Sometimes easier said than done, right? I'm gonna just try to spread spread some of this out just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take the dollops of butter, put them right on top. And then it's ready for the coals. Right, so we've got 15 coals there underneath that trivet and Dutch oven is going right on top and we're going to put about 10 more or so on the top. squeeze add some more because typically we have more on top than we do on bottom typically 
I'm gonna go with my gut. It might actually help it cook a little bit better since it is a little bit cooler on that bottom. What do you do while you're waiting? Weed. That thing right there just scared the life out of me. But look at that big old earthworm. That thing is huge. Well, bam. Let's go fishing. But look at that little guy. Ooh, there's something crawling. <laughs> Where did he go? There he is. Well, Houston, we might have a problem. Seems that that rain that I thought was gone really isn't gone. So I'm not quite sure how well this is going to work. I hesitate to even look at it. I think I'm just going to wait. But this, this, oh my gosh. This might have to finish in the oven, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this rainbow. This is amazing. It's like right here. It's like right there. That's where it ends. I need to go dig up a pot of gold real quick. I'll catch y'all in a minute. Alright y'all, so this is cooked for about 45 minutes in a oven that's 350 degrees. <laughs> and my poor, I really need some new um, oven mitts. Wow. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of, once I, oh, it's hot stir that in a little bit. I think we'll be good to go. Yummy. Let's give this a try. All right, so the rain stopped just enough and I'm hoping it's, well, it looks like there's some blue sky, so maybe it's done for the, for the day uh, for me to pop outside and take a try. As you can see, I did get hot today and my hair got off my neck. You ladies with short or long hair, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I guess some of you guys too. I mean, you can have long hair too. Um, but here it is. Now I will say that um, it seemed to, I wish I had drained the peaches. That was a mistake. Um, so next time, definitely drain your peaches. Um, if it was like a peach pie filling then you wouldn't have to but these were real peaches in like the um well this was a um um no syrup but you know the natural syrup or whatever whatever stuff they put them in um it wasn't sugared or anything like that um so i should have drained it that was my mistake we're gonna try to drain it off a little bit so the kids aren't like ooh, why does it look like soup <laughs> but this actually looks really good. As you can see, I put some vanilla ice cream on it to make it yummy. Yummier. It's been a long time since I've had a cobbler, so maybe that's good. Let's give it a try. Oh, wow. So that's really good. Mm. 
So the cake mix definitely gave it that um, cakey, spongy, like meld. It just melded really, really well. Of course, the peaches are good. Of course, the ice cream's good. So it all in all, and the mosquitoes are like feasting on me. I am their dinner tonight, it seems. <laughs> um, I'm always their dinner. What is it about some certain people that always seem to attract the mosquitoes? And the, oops, see, I don't know if you just saw that, but one just like flew right across the camera. It's me. Like if anybody else is going to get bit, like everybody else can have no bites and I'm going to have them all because they're like, ooh, it's Campfire Trish and I want to eat you. So that's what they do. They like to suck my blood. Um, but this is really, really good. I'm very happy. Mm -mm. Like I said, the cake mix is its own flavor. It doesn't taste like cake cake, but it's delicious. Look at that. Oops, that way. Mmm. <laughs> it's great. I say try it. It was really simple. Easy to do in the oven as well if you can't, if you don't have, um, access to the fire or I like me here the uh, rain continued and I was not prepared but very tasty I suggest you try it um, and otherwise I hope you guys have a great rest of your day rest of your evening um, as always this is really fun for me give me a like if you like this video please comment below if you want me to try your own special recipes or you know anything I'm always looking for good recipes. I'm always flipping through cookbooks and everything. So please, please, please give me what you've tried and tested and you think that I'll love because I probably will. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great evening. Bye.